Hi everybody, Faye here. Thank you for joining my channel. Today I'm going to share with you another awesome labeling claims video. This one will be about labels that pertain to foods that cause allergies. It's kind of an interesting topic. I hope you enjoy it. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe, like this video. Food allergies, absolutely something that some people know about, some people don't know about. They can be really complicated if you have some or if you know somebody that does. But anything anywhere out in public is frustrating depending on what the allergy is. Between 1997 and 2011, allergies have increased by at least 50% since we are now in 2016, I'm sure they have increased even more because it doesn't seem to be slowing down. In fact, I've met people that are allergic to things such as rice and corn. Approximately 15 million Americans have food allergies. The type of allergy that the CDC and the FDA will be talking about is anaphylaxis, where basically your body swells and your throat usually closes up. You end up in the emergency room or you die. Plenty of different other reactions that happen when you're allergic to food, there's actually a giant list, regardless, is awful. And if you need to avoid those foods, you have to look at the labels. So this is what you need to know about labels. The FDA has set up a regulation to label the top eight food allergens four of which are plant-based and four of which are animal-based. After I list these off, I will tell you what my plan is. Tree nuts, wheat, peanuts, and soy. Those are all based from plants and at least two of which have been genetically modified. Milk, egg, fish, and shellfish. You know what? If you go vegan, you cut out 45% of allergens. You just cut it off, just dumped it in the trash. You don't even have to worry about it. How can half of our allergens be from animals? Well, probably because they're not meant to be consumed. They're meant to thrive and live on their own like we do. There's something called a FALCPA, Food Allergen Labeling and Consumer Protection Act, which is quite interesting because there was a bill passed and like, 2004 where they addressed all of these labeling issues and they're trying to protect all of us from allergens in our prepackaged foods. You can always call the company, I always suggest that. But the requirements for labeling, the statements must be true and not misleading. It must say contains and then put the ingredient after in parentheses. The terms processed in a facility are not actually regulated. They are a voluntary claim by the company. It is, they're just not regulated. And watching out for consumers. Peanuts in a bag must say contains peanuts. There are a few exemptions, however. Things that would be a giant list, like colorings, flavors, spices, those don't have to be labeled. They can just be listed as coloring, flavor, and spices. Now onto the other type of allergy, which is actually an intolerance that is a recent almost new fad for labeling would be gluten-free. It's a super giant one now. Even food I eat, usually it has to say gluten-free or I end up really sick and I'm sure there are plenty of other people that end up the same way. So for some reason, the manufacturer has to comply with 20 parts per million, not zero parts per million, which apparently is like one slice of bread, depending on how it's processed, or about an eighth of a teaspoon of flour, which is really strange in comparison to the bread. The reason this was adopted is because it is really common in other parts of the world, so they didn't want to get creative, they just wanted to follow the crowd off the cliff. Just like allergen alerts on your labels, all prepackaged foods that are regulated by the FDA, which should be all of them. If they say gluten-free, they have to fit the standard of 20 parts per million or less gluten in that package. This also applies to dietary supplements and imported foods. Labeling requirements are foods that are regulated by the USDA, like meat, poultry, and unshelled eggs, and as well malted beverages, which happens to be the same as all the other allergy. Now, manufacturers are not required to test for gluten. They just need to determine how they will ensure that their products are gluten-free. That just requires like a written statement and their own requirements in their factories. Though the FDA requires statements to be very truthful and not misleading, I believe it's misleading if not every batch is tested for an allergen. And apparently there is not one single way to test for an allergen. There are not necessarily kits 
or reliable ways to test for most allergens, do their own testing or don't. It's not really necessary. That being said, whole food plant-based vegan, guess what? You don't have to worry about allergens. Produce is wonderful and it is a one type of food. You get carrots, they're carrots. You get bell peppers, it's bell peppers. There's no gluten, dairy, soy, wheat, egg, peanuts, tree nuts in your produce. Absolutely not. And if you do want prepackaged food, just be really careful and know your manufacturers. Don't forget to subscribe, like my video, share my video for people that did not know all these facts. I'm going to leave all of my links down below in the description. Thank you for watching. I'm Faye. Bye-bye.